For decades, rural residents in southern Sumatra reported sightings of large orange-haired primates deep in the jungles. Indonesian authorities were skeptical. Finally, in 1997, a joint Indonesian and Australian team of adventurers launched an expedition to investigate the reports. Two weeks into the expedition, they discovered an unusual species of orangutan. In 2017, scientists officially designated the species Tapanuli. Researchers have now confirmed a population of 800 Tapanuli living in the Lake Toba region of Sumatra. In the 1800s, Dutch explorers first reported sightings of a human-like figure living deep in the jungles of Sumatra. Locals referred to these seemingly archaic humans as Orang Hendek. Times of India, 2014. Orang Pendek, or the little man of the forest, Homo floresiensis, this news of the island of Flores, located near Indonesia, attracted a firestorm of speculation reported in the wilderness of Sumatra. Australia, TheAge.com, 2004. Could the existence of Homo floresiensis rehabilitate persistent rumors of an undiscovered human-like species elsewhere, notably Orang Pendek of Malay folklore? Continuing, Chris Stringer of the Natural History Museum in London says, quote, One of the first things I thought of learning about the Flores skeleton was a possible parallel with the Orang Pendek, end quote. The UK Guardian covered the Orang Pendek in 2011. Orang Pendek quest begins in Sumatra. A new expedition to track down the elusive Orang Pendek begins today. Continuing, Orang Pendek is reported as being 80 to 150 centimeters tall. Reddish brown hair, climbs trees, sightings for centuries with physical evidence such as handprints and footprints. The article details frequent encounters between local farmers and the Orang Pendek on the outskirts of Karinsi Seblat National Park. The farmers describe how the Orang Pendek steal sugarcane and other crops. Debbie Martyr is an acclaimed travel guidebook author. She speaks fluent Indonesian. She was interviewed by The Guardian on her encounter with the Orang Pendek. Quote, when I saw it, I saw an animal that didn't look like anything in any of the books I had read, films I had seen, or zoos I had seen. It did indeed walk rather like a person, and that was a shock. End quote. Continuing, quote, it doesn't look like an orangutan. Their proportions are very different. It is built like a boxer with immense upper body strength. It was a gorgeous color, moving bipedally and trying to avoid being seen." End quote. Several years ago, motocross bikers in Sumatra captured footage of a strange hominid. The figure flees the bikers at a fast pace and then jumps into the tall grass. London Express, shocking footage, mythical ape man caught on camera sprinting from bikers, February 18, 2018. Staggering footage, ape man sprinting at an alarming speed has allegedly been captured on camera. Continuing, the video uploaded to YouTube is said to show an orang pendek said to inhabit the wilds of Sumatra, Indonesia. Jonathan Downs, cryptoid researcher, quote, If I were going to put a probability on the existence of it, I would say 99%. We know so much about it. We've heard them. We've got footprints. And in 2009, two people actually saw one, end quote. Note, there is an especially clear close-up photo of the alleged Orang Pendek at the link for 
the London Express story. When Homo floresiensis was first announced in 2003, Chris Stringer and other top paleoanthropologists jumped to the conclusion that the species might be related to the orang pendek. But now, 20 years later, we have a growing amount of both fossil and DNA evidence that southern Denisovans may have survived in Melanesia till at least 10,000 years ago and maybe even till the present day. Orang pendek, a Homo floresiensis, or late surviving Denisovan. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like the video, and pass the video on to your friends. We'll see you soon.